I always love playing that intro, uh, particularly when it mixes Microsoft Flight Sim with several other different factors. Now, War Thunder April Fools is coming up, and predictions are hard and swing as to what could be 2024's new edition. Last year, we had ro robots, infantry, so to speak, and uh, I think past years were definitely more entertaining, at least from an uh, initial standpoint. But We've had so much unique events, like the sailing ships, for example, in, in 20, 2016, 2017. Uh, yeah, with the Golden Hinds with broadsiding cannons. It's absolutely fantastic. By the way, subscribe for more interesting content. We'll be covering the April Fool's event when it comes out. Anyway, thank you to all the members who've joined the channel as well. Appreciate it greatly. Now I've got that out of the way, I just feel like War Thunder has already experienced a lot of intrigue when it comes to their events. Generally, the music is well produced, the events themselves are typically very fun and enjoyable, although uh, the submarine event that they did recently, uh, I think it was like 2017, 2018, I'm not entirely sure, wasn't exactly the best. But we've had modern tanks, we've had modern helicopters, we've had rank 9, that was a thing that they introduced. I've also done various other things like flying ponies, for example, and now we've done basically everything under the sun, especially in terms of there's the ponies. Well, uh, initial development, but predictions aside, I, I do think that it will be a focus on either more World War II stuff, or it could be a complete, you know, reverse role. Typically, it follows a a substandard thing either historical anachronisms where war thunder has introduced elements that are out of place and very very just uh weird alternate history sort of scenarios uh they they also have a could have a fantasy element where war thunder might incorporate uh, you know elements in the game such as dragons instead of planes or mythical creatures or replacing tanks but what would you be testing with that uh you know going to space uh, well we've already kind of done that a couple of times now so well, whether or not we actually go and actually do proper space battles, we've done the whole cartoon and retro style, a sort of retro gaming homage, but uh, a role reversal where players might find themselves in the humorous scenarios where they have to use unconventional weapons has always been the case with these sort of April Fool's events. So I wonder, even with the Atomic Hearts crossover and the UFOs, we sort of had interesting combat mechanics with rolling robots and flying saucers. So there is not really much that they haven't done, unless they continue with the collaboration with the second part of Dune and they go with some sort of fancy uh, replay of events. Ideally, I'd like them to go and add a bunch of game modes dedicated to the April Fool's events of years gone so everybody can go experience them, like go flying in ponies and go sailing in the ships, for example, or uh, go and, and do various other things. But they're a bit cryptic with these kind of things and it really shows that the passion and, and when they do these kind of April Fool's events that the, the team behind the game really love and understand that people love these kind of events. So it's always fantastic to see new music, new sound effects, new text dialogues, new vehicles. And the game just feels a bit of an enthusiasm as the devs are let loose from their traditionally uh, a realistic sort of combat vehicle simulator but alas we did have infantry last year and that was particularly interesting it was something that was a bit odd and a bit new and having walkers in this kind of fashion was something that hasn't been seen in war thunder for a little while and all these walkers had different stats and different armaments a bit similar to earlier walkers that we had in 2016 2015 i'm not entirely sure there was big big walkers with kv2 turrets and various other things as well but there was also if i remember correctly arcade battles a rip and knock off of world of tanks by using inflatable shermans and that allowed basically to fire carrots and potatoes at enemies which were just basically a knock on uh, world of tanks and there have been various other interesting ones as well. For example, there was just a giant snail on a development server in, I believe, 2014. And they just, in the previous year, had ponies, which was a massive license infringement. But we'll never see the likes of that again. Well, I hope. I don't know. But I've waffled on for long enough. Well, let me know in the comments down below what you think the April Fool's event is going to be this year and what the Gaussian possibly might do. Uh, initial theories from the community seem to be uh, testing out Fox 3 missiles, although that's already on the development server from the previous major update. 
uh, that's already been internally testing maybe they're going to do rank 9 aviation or potentially maybe getting gen 5 uh, fictional uh, aircraft and, and potentially maybe the F-22 and the Su-57 which would be fantastic things but again uh, you know, I just hope that there is some, something a little more substantial to this current update again going back to World War 1 uh, Anton has talked about this on a reddit thread and uh, specifically when when the CEO was active on War Thunder's Reddit page and, and told the community that, that due to materialistic uh, reasons that World War I wouldn't be feasible. But we'll have to wait and see if that is the case because, well, we've got World War I vessels in the game. So what's the difference between having, you know, Mark I tank battles versus, you know, the A7V, for example, from, from World War I? But as much as I'd love a Bob sample, that's never going to happen either. I, I just think that stuff like the Rat or some of the other wacky one-off sort of experimental prototypes, for example, the K, I think it's the KV-8, or maybe uh, what was the massive long train of KV-1 things with artillery rockets and things. It's like a land tank, but anyway, never really got into production. I'm going to put up an image right now just so you know what I'm talking about, but... Russian land battleships would be an interesting thing. Maybe have a bunch of fictitious ones that were considered to be optional, something like that. Uh, the other issue is a lot of these things, people always assume that they are testing for something and sometimes they just want to have a bunch of fun. So I'm a bit conflicted to as whether or not they actually are going to be testing something or whether or not they're actually just going to go do something a bit fun for a change. And introducing the F-18 is something that will probably be an inevitability like you saw in the intro. I'd love for them to have just a dedicated focus on a just random vehicle or a random set of vehicles because that would be really unique and quite interesting. Uh, oh, I just love this little Bob simple. Let him go. I can't believe I duped half the community with this, uh, especially with thanks to the modelers who made this mission and, and made the vehicle. What an absolute blast. Uh, 2021, I think it was, was this is my this is my favorite video of all time. I got people so hard. It was it was good. It was good fun. And I'll, I don't have anything planned for this April Fools either. I'd love to sit there and do a, a, a something, but a thought just occurred to my mind, something to do with electronic warfare and well, active radar jamming and various other bits and pieces. What I mean by this is, uh, you know, stealth mechanics and advanced missiles to some degree. Maybe we'll see some, you know, weird looking vehicles, the J-20, the F-22, the F-35, the SU-57, and etc, etc, etc. So, I don't know. I'd, I'd really, really love to see some wacky things pop up. Especially the SU-47, for example, that's a pretty awesome thing. Or maybe they're just going to do a, a World War II submarine event like they did uh, in World War II testing earlier this year as well. But who knows? Ultimately, I haven't really been feeling War Thunder recently. It's not really a game that I consider to be a fantastic game, although it is a good one. It certainly isn't without its fault. Like every free-to-play game, you can't have everything. You can't have your cake and eat it at the same time. Is that the same? I don't even know anymore. I'm just rambling at this point. Essentially... If War Thunder needs to improve, maybe new game modes, maybe we get something like, uh, you know, rocket artillery or some sort of anti-tank whatevers, like using the Sturm Tigers when, during the event when the Sturm Tigers came out, we got to use the Pack 40s anti-tank guns, for example. See, those were some of the most classic moments, you know, some unique things and unique elements that make the game feel a little bit better. So I've already theorized and, and, and talked about some of the vehicles that could be coming towards War Thunder in, in previous April Fools videos, but I don't let's let's less focus on the vehicles and more of the wacky mechanics. If they are gonna do electronic warfare, that'd be fantastic. You'd be able to get several variants of aircraft in game. I don't know what their purpose would be other than jamming missiles, uh, but the whole entire idea does seem quite sound because World War One isn't really feasible never going to go back in time because they're never going to go full out and fill out world war ii technology they're too busy selling us premiums but you know I, I i guess the age old saying is is well we've only got a couple of days to wait don't we so stay tuned we'll cover that one on the channel here shortly thank you very much for watching today's video i really really appreciate everyone for being here my name is ash thank you to the members and thank you for subscribing you'll see a video up here on the screen or something and yeah